What's up everybody? What's up MGTOW? So today's video is going to be on bulls. Now, a lot of criticism is levied at cucks these days, but the bulls themselves, the guys that are actually cucking the people, seem to kind of slide through relatively unscathed from criticism. But is being a bull really as cool as it's made out to be? Now, I'm talking about a very specific instance of cucking because seeing how cucking has become so popular of a sexual kink, I'm not talking about people that are voluntarily cucking or being cucked. That's a whole other story completely for a different video probably. And also, I'm not talking about guys who, you know, met a woman at a bar or some other type of place like that and she didn't have a ring on and you know you took her home and then in the morning her husband calls that's that's also a different story but i'm talking about guys that are actively trying to you know cuck married men who know the man is married they know or they know the woman is married and they're still actively trying to have sex with this guy's wife now this is kind of a reflection of one of the problems, at least that I see, within society is that men don't respect other men's property rights. And now I'm not saying that women are property like cattle or something like that, but in the instance of a marriage, which we know that at least over 70% of marriages are hypergamous, in which the man earns more money than the woman, and he's generally paying the lion's share of bills and house rent or mortgages and things of that nature. So in that case, it is kind of a property rights issue because this man is paying to support this woman and then you're going to go and have sex with her. And from a male perspective, that's his woman. So although you might be have been told by feminism that women can't be owned and that no man can own a woman and women aren't property but within this select instance I would say that she is property in a sense she still has her human rights and if she decides that she wants to divorce the man and move on with her life that's fine but while he's paying her bills and paying for her to live at his house and paying for her food and gas and all that stuff she's basically his property and just like you don't want someone to come into your house and steal your car or you know steal your playstation or steal something from you that you've worked for because that's what it is he's worked for this thing whether it's the idea of marriage separate from the actual physical woman or not or the agreement that he's made he's worked for it he's paid for it it's his because property rights in itself is an abstract idea. So it is theft, generally speaking. Now, sure, there might be some instances where the man is mistreating the woman or something like that, but generally speaking, that's not what we're talking about. We're talking about guys that are just out actively trying to seduce married women, and they're probably using a lot of pickup artist techniques and other techniques like that, and... It's just plain theft. Now, in the same vein, it's also not cool because the thing with dating or sleeping with married women is that it's easy. And there's a lot of reasons why it could be easy. And it's easier to have sex with a married woman in an uncommitted relationship where you're having an uncommitted relationship with a married woman than to actually get married to a woman. It's much easier. So it doesn't display any finesse of game because there's multiple reasons why this woman might be having sex with you instead of her husband. For one, just the setup of modern marriage automatically emasculates a man in a certain respect where he can't say no to his wife for fear of divorce and then that lowers his sexual attraction 
and then basically any man, any free man that's not married and does a couple push-ups starts to look like an attractive deal. And also, she might be sleeping with you, but you might not be the type of guy that she would be in a relationship with because you might be unstable or there could be a numerous reasons why you're not married yourself. And instead, it's easy for her because she already has the stability of what this other guy is providing for her that you're considering to be a cuck. But in actuality, he's the real man in the situation and you're kind of trying to slide in. Now, she could also be withholding sex from her husband to try to gain leverage over decisions in the marriage. And even though women try to pretend like they have no sexual drive, especially older women have a higher sexual drive, so she might be withholding sex from her husband in the marriage, while at the same time she has sexual desires, so she's going to cheat with you because basically she needs sex and she also wants to get the stuff from her husband. So, again, this is another, you're, you as the bull are kind of being played by the woman in that situation because she's using you to get what she wants while she's supposed to be using sex to get what she wants from her husband. So, really, you're both getting played. You're not getting one over on anybody in that situation. And also, she could just be you know, psychologically messed up or have some type of other psychological issues or reasons why she can't be faithful to her husband. And in that same instance, it's like she's just using you for sex. It's not anything unique about you that you're providing for her besides dick. And pretty much every guy has a dick besides some transgender people. But, you know, that's how it is. It's not, there's no real, like, dominance in it because the woman, like I said, her husband might be emasculated from marriage or she might be using you as a kind of pawn to increase her value or just make herself feel good for a few minutes of the day because she's not getting recipro reciprocal validation from her husband. Because if she's invalidating her husband, which she probably is if she's running around having sex with other men, she's probably treating her husband like crap anyway. And then her husband's not going to be as nice to her because she's treating him like crap. And then he can't leave because if he gets a divorce, he loses half of his stuff and access to his kids and possibly his job and his house and all this stuff. But if she cheats with you, nothing really, there's no real consequences to it. So in all these instances, it's just showing that, you know, having sex with a married woman is not a real display of dominance. And in fact, you're just being basically cucked by the woman. You're being used by the woman to satisfy her ends because for whatever reason that her husband isn't satisfying those ends, possibly because he's not allowed to legally. And that's a whole nother story when you're talking about how mate guarding has become illegal in society. Because I mean, that's ridiculous. I mean, the fact that if you come home and there's a guy banging your wife in your bed and you're not allowed to shoot him, like, I think that's probably the leading cause of infidelity. Or I think infidelity would drop drastically if the husband was allowed to shoot the guy that was having sex with his wife, it would just be like, guys would be like, oh, you're married. Oh, oh, I'm out of here. I'll, I'll see you later. You know, it wouldn't happen half as much as it does now. But that's, again, something that feminism brought in. We were saying, oh, you have to let women do whatever they want, whenever they want, however they want. And nobody can ever be mad at a woman, even if she's banging some guy in your bed. So I think I've presented a little bit of evidence at least to show why cucking other people is not as cool as you think it is and it doesn't really require a high level of proficiency in game. It's more to do with the way that 
females perceive marriage and especially modern marriage and what they're able to get away with and the fact that you're being used too. So with that, I'm going to get out of here. Have a good day and go MGTOW.